Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing part three of fragrance mints that smell like expensive perfumes, designer perfumes, niche perfumes. And this has been super, super fun to do. I believe the first YouTuber that I saw doing this video was Ksenja, which I love her channel so, so much. So she inspired me to go ahead and make that first video. And then now every time that I go into Bath & Body Works, I'm just always sniffing fragrance mist. And in the back of my mind, I'm trying to match it up with a perfume or something that is a little bit more pricey so that we can have different options for price points. And if you're a person who prefers fragrance mist over perfumes, that's a nice way to know the type of vibe you're going for and that you can find very nice fragrance mist that smell like expensive designer perfumes. So before I get started with today's video, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on fragrance, beauty, self-care, and body care. If you like that type of content, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? I am so happy to have you here with me and I appreciate all of the love and the support. With that said, let's go ahead and let's get into this video. I have six fragrance mists today that smell like an expensive perfume. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind that when I am showing you these fragrance mists, I am not saying that this is 100% a dupe for a fragrance because you, we have to keep in mind that these are fragrance mists, so they're going to last a little less time than if you were using a perfume. A perfume has more oil, it's more concentrated, and a fragrance mist is just more watered down and it's not going to last as long but i am giving you a dupe and also something that's going to be along the same vibes as that perfume so if you like the perfume but you don't want to either spend the money or you don't like using perfumes and you prefer fragrance mist this is a nice way to use this as a guide to try fragrance mists that are going to have the same vibe and can be almost dupes to certain fragrances. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So you guys know that I recently posted my Bath & Body Works haul for the body care sale day and I did pick up some new scents and I did find some dupes. So I'm going to start off with Bath & Body Works Vanilla Mocha Cream this one automatically when i got home i knew that this was going to be reminiscent to one of my coffee fragrances in my collection so of course the first one that i thought of was ysl black opium but they're not dupes because black opium is more floral this one's more on the gourmand side then i also thought about vanilla sky by skyler which is which is right here and this one is pretty similar to this one but I feel like the one that it reminded me the most of, of course, the intensity is not going to be as crazy as the perfume, but the one that this one reminded me of is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. They are very similar. Actually, today I'm getting a little bit more sweetness, so I'm going to say that it's going to be a toss-up between these two. But I feel like this one is the sweetest out of everything that I just mentioned. So, of course, this one's going to open up stronger. The coffee in here is a little bit more bitter. But this one has caramel, so this one has sweetness in it as well. And I noticed that they start when you first spray them they're not going to be dupes right off the bat but when i noticed that they really smelled like each other was in the dry down yeah so when it first opens up of course the only one is going to be stronger it's a perfume it's more potent but you can layer these two together and they're going to be so beautiful together they're going to complement each other and you're going to smell like a snack if you wear them together and if you want a fragrance mist that has this type of vibe, then go ahead and go with this one for sure. 
Next up is going to be Whipped Rose Latte. And this one, when I first sprayed it at the store, I didn't really think that it reminded me of anything. And I brought it with me and I just loved the scent. But then I realized that it is a nice dupe for Monstera Roses Vanille. And the one that I have is already a dupe. So this is Zara's Rose Gourmand. But these two would layer together so beautifully. I feel like this one opens up so strong because this is a beast mode fragrance. They, this fragrance, I put it on my hand yesterday in the morning and I was still smelling it at 8 o'clock at night. This will stick to you. The original one, which is Mancera Roses Vanille, or the Zara one, which is already affordable. But this right here is like a soft fragrance mist version of those types of fragrances. So you, you get the rose. Somehow, this vibes the same. And again, you're not going to get the intensity of a perfume, but this is a beautiful dupe in fragrance mist form or the version of a fragrance mist. But this is what it reminds me of. This one is, if the Roses Vanille is a little bit too much for you, if it's too strong, this is a nice way to get that kind of scent profile because this one is way more wearable. It's softer, but it still has the same exact vibe as Roses Vanille. Up next, I have a pretty old fragrance mist, one that has been around for years and years. And this is Warm Vanilla Sugar by Bath & Body Works. I used to think that this reminded me of Kayali Vanilla 28, but I noticed that it actually reminds me more of the MAC Creme de Nude. So if you have this fragrance and you want something to layer with it, or if you just want something that smells like Mac Creme de Nude, Warm Vanilla Sugar is very, very close to it. Yeah, they're so similar to each other. And you can layer the body cream with the perfume and it would just be... Yeah, they're so so close to each other and if you want to create a beast mode fragrance you want to smell all day you want to smell very strong and potent you could either layer these together or here is the fragrance mist version of this type of fragrance very warm cozy vanilla and also like a sugary type of vanilla so so good those two are very very close to each other up next i have one that i no longer have the fragrance for this one but it reminds me so much of it but just a version that i can actually wear so i am talking about the black raspberry vanilla body mist from bath and body works and this one reminds me of lalix amethyst now, I did get rid of Amethyst. I gave it to my husband's grandmother, I believe, because I kept going back and forth with that fragrance. One minute I liked it, the next minute I wasn't vibing with it. And it is just a very rich, just berries. Just imagine like all the purple and dark berries smushed up. And that is the scent that that fragrance makes me think of. And it also has kind of like a boozy quality to me, almost like a sangria. That's kind of what it reminds me of. And when I smelled this, I said, oh my God, this smells like amethyst, but this smells like a wearable version of amethyst. What I was missing, which this one has a little bit of vanilla and sandalwood. And I feel like this one I can enjoy more and I can wear it but they are very similar to each other. You can layer them together, or if you want a fragrance mist version of that fragrance, this is the one for sure. Next fragrance mist that I'm going to be talking about is Hope, and this one is Winter Peach Marshmallow from Bath & Body Works. This is from the Holiday Collection. Sorry if you hear a little bit of like a water dripping, it's raining outside and this fragrance mist reminds me so so much of the hugo boss the scent perfume so they both have peach in them 
and they would layer so amazing together. The Hugo Boss is just a little bit more stronger. It smells a little bit more like a perfume, but they both have kind of like that peachy, creamy type of vibe to them, and they're both so beautiful. And layered together, I am going to just adore this combination. So this one has peach, it has freesia, it has osmanthus and cacao, and the body mist has velvet peach, vanilla meringue, and creamy jasmine. So this one has a type of white floral. They both share that and they both share peach. Now this one has cacao and this one has vanilla meringue. So they're very, very similar, not 100% dupes, but there's a similarity in both of them and they would layer beautifully together. This last dupe I found out about on Bath & Body Works website. I was kind of just reading through reviews. I like to do that once in a while about fragrances to make up my mind about them or maybe someone says something that I didn't pick up myself. <clears throat> so I saw this being mentioned and I was like, there is no way that this could be a dupe for this fragrance. I went ahead and I sprayed them on a little strip and let them sit there because obviously they weren't 100% dupes for each other but i see where this person was going saying that they smell similar and the body mist i'm talking about is snowflakes and cashmere and i couldn't i have been wearing this one for a few weeks and i just couldn't think of what it was that it reminded me of this is just like a very soft yet it has a little bit of woodiness in it and a little bit of like a musk in it but then everything is like very soft and blended really well so you kind of can't put your finger on exactly what you're smelling you just know that it smells good so i read that this is a dupe for fragrance dubois santal complet which is insane because this is a very very pricey perfume and when you first spray this of course um you're gonna be like no they're not uh this one is just super potent it is an amazing amazing fragrance i don't think anything can actually do this because it is just such a unique versatile fragrance where it feels sexy but it feels casual at the same time and i feel like you can wear it pretty much in any season because it just goes well with any weather any season any occasion you're just going to smell divine but when this started drying down i got a similar vibe so they will layer really nice together i'm not saying that i just discovered the dupe don't go and buy that by this because there's no comparing a fragrance mist that costs i believe it's like 16.50 to a fragrance that i don't even know if this is like four or five hundred dollars some the price tag for this is very very pricey but there's a very they're very similar there is a similar vibe to them there's like some type of note there that i'm getting that they do smell similar so the person who wrote that in the reviews on bath and body works they're onto something so with this one, I will say that this is just a really nice mist. And if you have the lotion, it would layer really nice with Santal Complet. And if you kind of just like this vibe and you just don't want to purchase the fragrance, this will give you that sort of vibe. Yeah. So that is going to be it for part three of fragrances that smell like expensive perfumes. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Leave down any dupes that you guys might have found that I can try out. Thank you so much for being here today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. I've been watching you. I'm